ladies and gentlemen, time now for From Start to Finish. Moving nicely along, we are at race number 6, the Altman Real Estate Trophy Handicap. It goes over a distance of 1,570 meters for three-year-olds and older horses rated 78 to 100. Also open for three-year-olds and older rated 77. The first they're competing for here is $12,000. Start is as follows. Number one is Sea Gypsy. And the mark of Antonio Whitehall, the weight there, 121 pounds. Number two, Little Man Aaron will wear town tie. Anderson Topman rides 115. Mystical Magic is horse number three. Picked up two pounds of weight, 120 pounds. Horse number two will carry a pound of weight, that's 116 pounds. Also one pound of weight is last year's derby winner, Leave It To Me, who makes a return to racing after a one-year absence. Written by Jason Leacock, 117 pounds. Preach to me. Finds her, herself down from A class. And uh, carries 130 pounds in here with Ricky Walker. The equipment to be used, a tongue tie and cheek beaters. Number six, Graham Hill. Written by Paul Edry, 117 pounds is the weight. Number eight, the subline form, Captain Sully. Blinkers and a tongue tie, his equipment. Jalon Samuels rides 124 pounds. And running out the field is Mystic Moon. Blinkers, her equipment. Jonathan Grant rides 108 pounds. That's the field for the Altman Real Estate Trophy Handicap. This race offers five forecast and uh, trifecta. Your money in the bank horse. Swimming horse number one, Sea Gypsy. For your bear fitted by Sea Raven of Summer's Wish. Good form, fourth of nine, fourth of six, second of seven. On the race, I thought she really ought to have won. Block for racing room from the bottom of the stretch, stretch to the line and finishing second. And uh, fourth last start, beating only three quarters of a length by that super Philly dagger. This one is owned by Mrs. Diana Jones, trained by Chalna Jones. White Hall rise, one to one, looking to give him win number three on the card. On my second line, I'm going to go for the inform Captain Sully. This is horse number seven. 124 pounds. Ran a corker last start, beaten by a better horse on the day. And a better horse in general, in my opinion. That is subject to um, other people's opinion. Dagger, third of ten, beaten only a quarter of a length. It was a gallant effort, took along 126 pounds on that occasion. And comes in here, two pounds lighter, one, two, four. I expect that he would want to go to the front, and if not tackled, or if not headed over by the two for long pole, it will be good night, nurse. On my third line, I'm going to go for horse number three, Mystical Magic. A winner, two starts back. Horses rated 88 to 110. Ran a close enough fifth, going under to Dagger and Captain Sully. Last outing, that was in the 25th of June, comes in here with 120 pounds that merits a drop of some three pounds from last start but falls on my third line race number six one seven and three your money in the bank horse number one sea gypsy for mrs diana jones and mr charlie jones and the ever hot antonio whitehall presently just trying to get a little peep at the board shows at four to one that's a good bet. Good luck. Join me for race seven. He ejected into whatever part of the body has an injury. And uh, she was a recipient of this, along with uh, Kim Diamond Black, losing races later on today in the Derby. We wrote for Preach to Me. And Jim Scott leaves it to me behind. Couple strides short of a mile. And they've got their all in and the Sarah's orders. And their race saying, Preach to me was off a stride slowly. But as they come off the shoot onto the main course, Little Man around his front, but Captain Sully wants to lead and does do everything to get it. So it's Captain Sully who in the middle of the course, who has the lead from Little Man around. Up on the outside, pulling very hard is Graham Hill. Down on the inside is Preach to Me rushing up. The one in tight quarters there on the inside is Sea Gypsy. 
Mystical Magic is next, leave it to me, has one beaten at this stage, and then it's Mystic Moon who has only the ambulance behind her. As it goes past the five for long marker. And on the inside, it is Vidalman Aran, and on the outside, uh, the one going up is Captain Sully, it's Captain Sully and Little Man Aran, these two match strides, then Graham Hill being pushed along by Ettery, on the inside, see Gypsy on Whitehall, Preach to me is next one through. Then on the outside, Mystical Magic, a break of five to leave it to me. Another three back to Mystic Moon as they go over the hill. They've got just over three for long to run. And the leader is on the inside, Little Man around. On the outside, Captain Sully. Preach to me is set to light for the drive. Graham Hill still knocking around. See Gypsy goes ominously well. Mystical Magic starts to fall away as they come to the quarter pole. And it's Little Man and Aran still hanging tenaciously to the lead. On the outside, Captain Sully will not go away. See Gypsy appears with a ground on the outside. Graham Hill trying to close. Preach to me also needs to find more. But Little Man Aran starts to dash away now. Captain Sully staying on. Graham Hill also staying on. But this class has been dismissed. It is Little Man Aran by three. Very close for second between Graham Hill on the inside and Captain Sully on the outside. Preach to me. See Gypsy didn't carry through the run. Then came Mystical Magic and Mystic Moon together. The last one was Leave It To Me. In a moment, we'll be back with a full recap for you. Special results for race number six from the garrison. Again, repeating, two, six, seven, and five. Two, six, seven, and five. And the final time, And the final time, 135 and 3 fifths. 135 and 3 fifths. And the presenting to Mrs. Angela Simpson on behalf of Bill and Haley Blevin. A one two for them and trainer Jonathan Simpson in race six, just completed. We want to offer our sincere thanks uh, to Mrs. King and, of course, our congratulations to Bill and Haley Blevin, trainer Johnson Simpson, and uh, the rest of the stable. And, of course, our thanks to Mrs. Simpson, Angela Simpson, for receiving on behalf of the... appears that they're all in under Sarah's orders, and they're raising... Preach to me was off a stride slowly, but as they come off the shoot onto the main course, Little Man Aran is proud of a Captain Sully wants to lead and does do everything to get it. So it's Captain Sully who in the middle of the course who has the lead from Little Man Aran. Up on the outside pulling very hard is Graham Hill. Down on the inside is Preach to me rushing up. The one in tight quarters there on the inside is Sea Gypsy. Mystical Magic is next. Leave it to me. Has one beaten at this stage. And then it's Mystic Moon who has only the ambulance behind her. As it goes past the five for long marker. And on the inside, it is Little Man Aran. And on the outside, uh, the one going up is Captain Sully. It's Captain Sully and Little Man Aran. These two match strides. Then Graham Hill being pushed along by Ettery. On the inside, Sea Gypsy on Whitehall. Preach to me is next one through. Then on the outside, Mystical Magic, a break of five to leave it to me. Another three back to Mystic Moon as they go over the hill. They've got just over three for long to run. And the leader is on the inside, Little Man around. On the outside, Captain Sully. Preach to me is set to light for the drive. Graham Hill still knocking around. See Gypsy goes ominously well. Mystical Magic starts to fall away as they come to the quarter pole. And it's Little Man and Aran still hanging tenaciously to the lead. On the outside, Captain Sully will not go away. See Gypsy appears with a ground on the outside. Graham Hill trying to close. Preach to me also needs to fight more. But Little Man Aran starts to dash away now. Captain Sully staying on. Graham Hill also staying on. But this class has been dismissed. It is Little Man Aran by three. Very close for second between Graham Hill on the inside and Captain Sully on the outside. Preach to me. See Gypsy didn't carry through the run. Then came Mystical Magic and Mystic Moon together. The last one was Leave It To Me. In a moment, we'll be back with a full recap for you. <laughs>